Hello everyone, this is Colin once again. I'm continuing my video series of the uh, analyzing the New Testament. We left off at the right near the end. It's the last couple verses of chapter 2 of the Gospel of Matthew. And in this verse, it's a reference to why Jesus and his family decided to settle down in Nazareth. According to the passage starting at verse 19, they go back because of the apparent genocide of the children of Bethlehem. They flee from Herod's tyranny, and they only return until the angel of the Lord, according to verse 19, appears to Joseph in a dream and says to basically take his family back because Herod has died. Now, as we talked about in the last video, uh, apparently... Uh, Herod was never behind, historically, a mastermind genocide to kill children. But according to the gospel narrative, it's still trying to run with this fictitious element of the narrative. So, finally, Joseph and the family returned to the land of Israel. And, according to verse 22, But when he heard that Archelaus was ruling over Judea in place of his father Herod, he was afraid to go there. After being warned in a dream, he went away to the district of Galilee. There he made his home in a town called Nazareth, so that we, so what had been spoken to the prophets might be fulfilled. Quote, he will be called a Nazarene. End quote. And this is the whole element of this particular video, is this one passage, he will be called a Nazarene. Now, what's interesting is some Bible versions have in the plural prophets, and in other pass in other versions of the Bible, they'll have the phrase prophet, meaning only one. Well, whatever the case might be, what's fascinating is that there is no reference to which prophet is being cited. Now, we know that in some of the manuscripts of Matthew, the reference to the prophets was very vague. And we know that uh, most of the time he was citing sources from Isaiah and Jeremiah and things like this, but in Zechariah... But for the most part, this passage is extremely vague about where is he getting this from. Now, what's fascinating is according to the Learning Bible, they're in their commentary, in the commentary of the Catholic Study Bible, this passage, being a prophecy, is nowhere in the Bible, meaning there is not one place where the prophets, all of them, or a prophet in the Old Testament actually say, Quote, and he will be called a Nazarene. Now, according to the Catholic Bible, it says that in Judges, with regards to Samson, he will be called a Nazarite, and with a reference to being a stock or a shoot from David, he'll be. Uh, it's another Hebrew word that is similar. But either way, it, there is no reference to, first off, the Messiah being called a Nazarene in the Old Testament, and there is no reference to, from this quotation, because again, Matthew was quoting a prophet or multiple prophets, and nowhere is there a passage that says he will be called a Nazarene. The closest we get to this is in the book of Judges with regards to Samson being a Nazarite. So here we have a statement where Matthew, and this is the first case, not the last, where Matthew fabricates and actually says he has a prophecy when really, as far as we can tell, as being actual, serious, intellectual, analytical minds, he is fabricating prophecies to fit his narrative, which, as I've proven and suggested at least in the past couple of videos, is full of fictitious and historical errors. So thank you for watching. We'll continue with the series at another time. Peace be with you all.